Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Well, besides the health benefit for the chickens, what we really need to find out is if this dry food right here will last longer than this fermented food. So we're gonna feed one bucket of dry food, which this dry food turns into this fermented food. Obviously it's increased in volume and weight because of the added water. But we wanna see what lasts longer if we can stretch out a bag of food to get some cost savings out of this. Okay, we're making this fermented food for the experiment, the feed experiment. So we got eight quarts, one bucket of pellet that we are going to put in here and then we got to add the water as well how that goes and then once it gets settled in we're gonna get a weight on that okay so for the chicken pellet you can see that this consistency is pretty thick like it's said it before I'll say it again it's kind of like a malto meal or thick oatmeal there is not a lot of water to be draining out of that so let's go ahead and weigh it and see what our starting weight is for this thing. Thirty six point two pounds is our starting weight. So we took what was it, eleven pounds, eleven point two pounds, and turned it into thirty six pounds of feed. Wowzers. Okay, so today we're going to conduct an experiment. So one of the reasons that I fermented the chicken feed was primarily cost savings. Even though it's a health benefit to my chickens, um, financially just buying all this chicken food is a drain. So I was hoping that it would reduce my feed bill. And today we're going to run a trial. So today, for my teenage chickens, we are gonna feed the dry layer pellet. So do we have batteries? Yes, we do. So we are going to weigh this feed. So we have 11.2 pounds by weight and basically eight quarts by volume, okay? And we're going to go ahead and feed these right now. And here are the subjects of this trial. And you can see that they are anxiously awaiting their food. We have 15 chickens and nine turkeys. So let's get in there. Back up, Jack. Okay, so we got fresh water that they've already muddied up this morning and their food bowl is empty. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this up if we can. All right, so we still have some left over. We are gonna go ahead and put it in this one. So that one is full and that one is full. So my plan is, is to make sure that these guys have feed all day long today. I'm gonna let them eat as much as they want, as much as they can and see how much they go through. Then to, at the end of the night, I'll remove their, any food that they have left over or if there's none, we'll leave it at that. Tomorrow, 10.30, we'll start with the fermented food and see how much by volume and by weight they ate of the fermented food. So there we have it. Okay, so it is 8.30 in the evening. 
The sun is setting. I've monitored these birds all day. They have not finished all of their food. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna collect what they haven't eaten and weigh it. And probably also take into account all that waste as well. Because it's all over the floor out here. I'm hoping, I'm assuming that's a problem that... So we got about a quarter bucket. Let's go weigh it and see what we got. So my scale is acting up. So it is 160 with the bucket. 156.6. So for 3.4 pounds, that's what we got on that. Approximately 3.4 pounds. Okay, good morning, ladies and gents. It is the next day, approximately 10.30 at the same time. This is day three of our fermented food. We're going to go ahead and scoop some out. And take it over and feed these chickens. See how well and how much they do of this fermented food. We're gonna start with that. Okay, as you can see today, that's maybe about one third of this bucket. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can't get a weight on it. So you can see 7.4 pounds. That's what we're gonna start with on this. So if you remember, well, scratch that. Of course you remember, you're watching the video. It's right after it. If I remember, yesterday they ate approximately seven pounds, 7.2 pounds. It's 11.2 pounds in the morning. There was three pounds and something left approximately. So we're gonna call it seven pounds of food in one day. This is 7.2. If they eat all this, it will, be the same amount of food however you have to keep in mind that that fermented bucket that i just pulled this out of was one of these buckets which is what i fed yesterday so they ate three quarters of a bucket in volume so we'll see how this goes so they haven't had no food since last night you can see that they are semi-hungry. Right, let's see how they do. See how much this fills us up. Okay, so obviously we can't use that other feeder over there. It's not conducive to this mush of food. So they had this full container and the other full container yesterday. If they eat all this, we'll go ahead and add some more. If they eat all this, then they've ate the same amount of weight of food that they did yesterday. If they don't finish this, then they've obviously eaten less. Well, we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, you're liking that, huh? Okay, so I'm a little behind schedule. It's about 5.30 in the afternoon and the chickens ate most of the, well, they ate all the other stuff. So we are going to give them some more slop. See what we can get out of here. It's a little on the wet side, but we're gonna go with it. So 
let's go over to the scale. This doesn't feel very heavy, probably with three pounds. I don't think the scale is gonna, I don't think it's gonna weigh it. Yeah, it's less than five pounds, it ain't gonna weigh it, so. So it's four pounds, I'm gonna say. So let's go give it to the chickens. All right, here we go, second round. A couple more pounds of some slop. Okay, well, it's been about an hour since I put more in there and it's just about gone. So it looks like they're gonna need some more. Okay, so the thing about this, it's cream of wheat or malt meal consistency. And I poured it into the strainer. And if I lift up this strainer, it's not, nothing's really, nothing's coming out. So let's, hold on. See? So I got very little water from that, very little at all. It's just not, that water is just not straining out of it. Okay, so this is what's remaining of one bucket of dry chicken pellet. After I fermented it, we still have a whole bucket left remaining. Now I'm going to go feed them some more because I finished off what they did. If you remember from yesterday, I still had about, I don't know, a quarter of a bucket left. So it looks like probably they're eating slightly less of the fermented food. And it's not a significant amount, but let's go put this in their bowl and see what we have remaining. Okay, so we got three quarters of a bucket remaining and that their bowl in there is full and you can see that there's not a huge amount of interest in it so they are not going to probably finish that off tonight by no means and we still have three quarters of a bucket left which we can go give to the other birds so let's see to sum it up they ate Probably, <laughs> look at the turkey sticking his head in there. He's trying to get at it. That's funny. So, <clears throat> yesterday they ate about seven pounds of dry food. They probably are going to eat, or actually they did eat more than seven pounds of the wet food today. So they ate a little bit more by weight but they definitely ate less by volume um i still have three quarters of a bucket of this fermented mash feed left which i can feed my other birds with yesterday i had a quarter of a bucket of dry left so it lasts a little bit longer is it worth the effort to continually be fermenting food i don't know for me the jury's still out on that We'll have to see. So I think this is a good point to interrupt this video and talk about something that I didn't mention is when you read about fermenting food, the number one cost savings that you're going to find talked about is the fact that the chickens are going to eat less because it's healthier for the birds. So fermenting breaks down the food. It makes it easier for them to digest. It's healthier for them, i.e. they're going to eat less. They're going to need less food and their bodies are going to utilize the food better, creating less waste. So in this trial being so short, only two days, we're not gonna get to see how that benefits the birds and makes them eat less. So if you're thinking about fermenting food, you might wanna take that into consideration as well. And also at this point, what I wanna show you is I had two batches go bad. So I wanna show you what it, the two batches look like when it molds, I had to toss those out. So that's also gonna go into your figures. If you have to constantly throw out moldy batches, that's you're not going to be saving any money. However, you can use it, maybe feed it to pigs, put it in a compost pile, but it's not going to your chicken feed. 
So take a look at this photo of the moldy food and then we'll get back into the video. Well, folks, there you have it. That is what molded fermented food looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that down there, but they've barely touched that third bowl that I put in there. So I wanna to try to sum up the results of this experiment 